comments on come back and you know i was just like fuck no i don't got the motivation but i'm back today because i'm like i have this video that i probably could upload if i wanted to but it's just not like i just don't I just don't even feel like i want to post it anymore because i filmed it like months ago so now i'm like that shit's like just irrelevant now so here i am i have worked in like an hour but i don't want to go looking busted even though i wear a mask that's how you know i'm a bad bitch I do a full face even though I'm about to wear a mask for my entire shift. And what about it? And what about it? This just come at you guys like hella raw also. So like no studio lighting. I'm using daylight and this light. So it might be weird. Like, I don't really know. I don't really care. I got braids, by the way. I clean my own eyebrows and like hair on my face up with Nair. And I think I'm allergic. I can't really give you guys an excuse as to why I've been gone. Usually I do this thing where I get really motivated with YouTube and then I post like a lot of videos. After like a month of being really consistent, I just get really like drained from being consistent and then like I take a break. But I've never taken like as long of a break as I've just taken. Like I've been gone for a fudging minute, bro. A lot of it has been that I just don't know if I like YouTube anymore. Like I'm never on this hoe, bro. Like I'm never on YouTube. I just don't know how I feel about YouTube anymore. Like there's a lot of fake ass people that are only out here trying to make money. They just have bad intentions. Ugh. This whole Black Lives Matter movement has really been eye-opening for me, and I'm just not gonna sit here and stand for all these nasty, crowd-chasing ass bitches. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. Think again. Another part of it has just been unmotivated. I don't know what to post. I love makeup, but um, I haven't been really doing anything crazy, so it's like, what am I gonna post? You know what I mean? Yeah, I've just been really like doing baddie makeup. Like even today, I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy. Like I'm just gonna be doing my natural, like fucking like natural <laughs> not natural definitely not natural but my everyday type of look i do people's makeup like on the side but i haven't like genuinely done like a full cut crease moment or like anything like that on my own face in a minute so it's just been like what am i gonna post i just recently started a fitness journey though so i'm gonna start posting some like health related videos as well as makeup videos i just want to branch out a little bit because i don't want to put all of my all of my eggs in one basket and just do one thing and feel forced to do that one thing like i sometimes want to film but just not particularly about makeup so like maybe a vlog maybe something different i'm gonna definitely do like what i eat in a day it's only been a week into my diet though so you know i'm still trying to catch the swing of thing for sure i want to be on here a little more often um but school's starting back up pretty soon so We'll see how that goes because I'm going to be going to school, working, trying to work out, and also maintain my YouTube channel a little bit more. Definitely not going to be on here like every freaking day, but I'm going to be trying to interact with the people that actually like me and my content. It's been a really interesting summer, um, you know, just it's definitely been hella eye-opening, like people just amaze me trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life, like what I want to be, what I want to do, what I want to study, because um, right now I'm going to community college, but I think I'm ready to actually start going to university pretty soon here. So after this year, it's bye-bye community, hello university, you know what I'm saying? The lighting is actually so jacked, but you know. Why does it look, what is that? What the? I was really focused in on like the wrong things as well. Not even the wrong things, but I was a lot, f I was really focused on finding a relationship and like boy, you know what? Like whatever they're called, like whatever they are, whatever specimen that is. And now I'm just like, keep that shit away from me, bro. Like I just realized that like, I don't need the extra stress. I don't need the, I don't need to sit here and feel all types of ways about a bum ass dude that's literally so minuscule and like is literally useless like i've been doing a lot of cutting off like if you're not beneficial to my life i've been cutting people off like that i'm starting to realize like who my genuine friends are like who i should and shouldn't surround myself around and i've been doing like just me just doing me focusing on me and my family and just 
trying to get on the right path. It's the lighting for me. Dog face. Sorry, I keep changing the angle. I'm just trying to figure shit out. I think this is the best thing to be able to get it though, so. I've just been growing up, bro. I'm growing up. It's kind of scary, but like, I guess that's life. And now I'm going to lose 30 to 40 pounds. I've done it before. I can do it again, baby. Don't get it twisted. Um, it is actually very freaking hard for me to lose weight, especially because I personally like going to the gym. Like that's my preferred like way of getting an exercise is to just go in the gym do what i gotta do and then leave and then go about my day but now i have to kind of like work out at home which is like somehow it's like hard for me i'm not gonna lie but i've been doing it and i'm gonna stick to it um and i think like recording it and doing little vlogs and stuff is gonna motivate me even more because now i got a whole audience out there i think that's better this video is actually a mess it's usually like this when i have like my breaks and then i come back it's messy but that's fine what are you guys expecting summer and even a little before the summer i met a guy absolute trash so we broke it off then he came back and i took him back just not a good idea then like he i broke it off and now he's kind of trying to come back again like baby like what he's trying to come back again i broke i didn't break it off i just stopped I broke it off. Then I met a different guy and I really, really liked this one. And I really wanted this one to work. And he started switching up. He started switching up. He started switching up. So, you know, mutually that one broke off. Dealing with a guy that just he, he, every like month or so, he like tries to slide in. And I'm just not, I just don't want it. And I tell him that every time. And then like a month later, he tries again. It's the way he slides in. Like last night I got a snap from him. And I was like, what the fuck? And I opened it. It was like, out of nowhere, by the way. I don't talk to this guy in the regular, like, at all. Out of nowhere, he was like, I'm still trying to hit. And I was like, okay. I sent him a snap that said, don't you have a girl? Because he's been posting this chick on his Snapchat story, which good for you. You've moved on. Thank God. And then he was like, bruh, I don't know why everybody thinks that. Because you've been posting a girl on your story? Duh. I was like, because you post a a bitch on your story every month, a girl on your story every month, like, hello. This man had the audacity to say, nah, that's not my girl, you're my girl. Motherfucker, know the, <laughs> know the fuck I am not. Do not ever play games with me. I will hurt your feelings. I was like, I'm your girl. You tried, you literally tried sliding in by saying you still want to hit. All you want from me is sex, just say that. They always try to make something seem like it's not, and then they get all like, oh my God, why is she turning crazy? They're out here making women crazy with that shit. Stop switching up, stop switching up. And if you were freaking honest from the get go and just said you wanted sex, that would have been completely different. I would have respected you because you're not wasting my time. Now we can be on the same page at least, my God. That's what I'm saying, I just can't, you see the frustration? I just can't do it anymore, guys. Like, I literally just actually would rather roll over and die than, um, try, <laughs> than try to be in a relationship right now. I said what I said. So yeah, I said, you're expecting me to come running you, like, oh my god, he's so into me. Oh, I'm so excited. After you tried sliding in by saying you wanted to hit, I don't give a fuck if you want to hit. I don't want to hit. If I wanted you to hit, you would have hit. Anyway, makes me feel really good that people are watching and enjoying my videos. Um, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. You know, this has never been about the money for me, but it's just really cool to see that like, that this is going places. You know, it's not just saying stagnant, it's like growing. Even if it's a little bit of growth, growth is growth, you know what I mean? So like, it's just really fucking exciting. Usually I do my makeup a lot like prettier and like it looks good when I'm doing it. It looks very, I put it on very like gracefully, but today, I'm um, not really feeling it. Also, I tried thinning out my eyebrows a little bit. I don't know how I feel. I don't hate it though, so. Right now I've been into these lashes. I think they're by Kiss in this style lacy they're kind of spiky but like also very wispy this is the lash glue i use by the way it's this brush on adhesive with vitamins the green duo lash glue elania put me onto this lash glue actually and i love it so much it just doesn't rip your eyelashes out which i like but it also keeps your lashes on i'm gonna try to put this hole on 
on camera which I never do because every time I try to it just doesn't work but um, I'm gonna let them dry before I put on mascara so while they're drying we're gonna do lips I'm just gonna use this lip liner by Colourpop in the shade BFF3 why the fuck is it half white and half brown now? can someone explain what the fuck I just did? actually can someone explain this to me? Why is it half white? <laughs> is this a glitch in the simulation? I'm like, going with this Morphe lipstick in the shade Boo, I think. Yeah, Boo. It's like the only stick lipstick I actually wear. Um, it's just like a nude lipstick and it's like really inexpensive. And the formula is really good. For the final lip product, I go in with this Wet Cherry Lime Crime. Cancel, I'm sorry. I'm not purchasing from Wet or from Lime Crime anymore. I just have it, so I'm gonna finish it and then I'm gonna throw this bitch out. But this is in the shade Naked Cherry. It's pretty much just a fucking mauve gloss. Don't get it. Do not support Lime Crime. Rihanna really needs to come out with new music. Girl, we're starving. We're starving. We have enough makeup. We have enough lingerie. Give us the music. Okay, I'm gonna go into some mascara. It's the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is what it looks like. You can get it at Ulta for actually $5, and I swear by this mascara. Okay, now I'm going to darken my mole. That's pretty much it for the makeup portion of this video. Now I'm gonna lay my edges real quick. I just got this new edge control. So you know, I'm kind of excited. I don't really know how to lay my edges. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm new to laying edges. I just kind of do like whatever, like looks like decent. I don't like doing too much. I don't really like when it's like, woo, on me. It looks really good on other girls, but on me, I'm like, nah, shabby. Stick with the basics. I went to 19 recently, and I was thinking about doing like a 19th birthday like get ready with me through a little get together quarantine friendly or uh corona friendly of course though there was not a lot of people here at all there's just the vip the very very important people were here which is a very small small list <laughs> um yeah and it was just so hectic to be honest i didn't have time i literally like completely forgot that i was doing i'll get ready with me also, I'm looking for a new job, I think, because my current job pretty much sucks ass, and I close actually every time I work, and I wish I were kidding. Luckily, we close at 9, so it's not that bad. I'm not there, like, hella, hella late, but, like, I'm, I'd am i rather jump off of a bridge than continue working for the company that I work for. And if you're wondering, I am a Starbucks barista, but, like, I'm a Starbucks barista inside of Target, so I'm a knockoff Starbucks barista. I think I'm gonna whip this up. Finn. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed watching, you can subscribe and you can like this video if you don't, if you know, you, you don't have to, but you know, if you want to, you can, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully I see you guys soon. I've missed you guys so much and I am super grateful for every single one of you. Like literally so grateful. I will see you all in my next one. Love you. Peace out.